YouTube. This is part two of that first video I made. I told y'all I'll come back with the second one and clean the first one up. So I'm going to just make this real quick because I think we got a good idea from the last one. But it was unorganized and just ran through. So I'm going to try to organize this one and uh, make some sense of it. First, I'm going to tell y'all about this place I found in Leon, Virginia. And the name of the place is Leon Auto Parts. And they got all kinds of B model cars out there. If you need parts, convertibles, it got Delta 88s, it got Granville's, uh, Catalinas, it got Impalas, hard tops, soft tops. It got them in the woods, 100 acres of cars, uh, all kinds of Mustangs, uh, um, all kinds of old school cars, but the name of the place is Leon Auto Parts in Leon, Virginia. If you live close to it, he don't mind you going there. He got whole racks, B model uh, convertible tops. He got all of those, you know, out there in the woods. But it is in the woods and got weeds and bushes, but he don't mind you going out there and get what you need off. But he got a lot of B model cars. But I'm going to run through this real quick and take care of this so we can get a good idea of what we got and try to clean up the last video. If you buy a uh, B model car, one of the most expensive part you're going to fix or replace is the top. Now, it costs a lot of money to do it. If you know, you got the extra money, hey, you can do it. You can pay somebody to do it. They're going to hit you in the pockets or try to do it yourself. But I'm going to try to do a quick overview of it. Clean up the last video, but I'm just going to jump on it. If you buy an old school car, top halfway work. The first thing you want to do, if it don't work, it won't go up or down. You want to check your fuse. Check your fuse at the top. It should be the 30 amp fuse on the top left. Check that fuse. If, if it's good, you move on to your switch on your dash. Like I said before, uh, sometimes your contacts inside your switch is bad. And um, you can just take it apart. Uh, sand down the contacts and it, it probably will work if you ain't got no other product because they're real simple just contacts so if you sand them down clean them up they probably work because it's got probably got residue and old stuff from just sitting around so you can try that out if it still don't work after that what you want to do is you want to come back to your back of your car take your back seat out and you want to check your relay this is your relay this is the main power wire coming from the from the switch and um, you know from the main power in the car. This is the, the, the power to your motor. These are the up and down power cords, I mean wires to your motor. So when you hit the switch on the dash, it's come through here and then it goes up in here and tell each one the up and down, tell the motor what to do. The motor start turning and you got your transmission gears. Transmission gears are usually nylon gears or are nylon gears if they start turning. Depends on which way you turn your switch, up or down, the motor gonna start turning inside. When the, when the transmission gears start turning, you're gonna turn these, the cables. And I brought one of the cables out so you can see how it works. They got like a box in, it fits into the groove inside of the transmission and you screw it in. Sometimes these right here will round off and your top won't move even though you can hear the motor running but the top is doing nothing. Sometimes these will round off and you best get another set. The, this, this one is pretty good. The corner, if you can see it good. You see how square it is? You want it like that square. Anyway, I just bought some new set to go on it because I want it new so it can eliminate a lot of problems. This motor, like I said, is on eBay. Uh, I think a hydroelectric, they got them. And a, a convertible specialist, they got them. They run about 225. The transmission run 225, like I said last time. But anyway, hit the switch, go through the relay. The relay tells the motor what to do, up or down. Like I said, this is a hot wire to your motor. These are left, the up and down, I keep saying left and right, but these are up and down that goes to your motor. And this is the main from the switch, right? It got the power and everything going up into your relay. Okay, like I said, it's turned the relay. I mean, relay, uh, if everything is working, the switch, you hit the switch. You're supposed to, like I said before, you're supposed to hear a click in the relay, not the switch, the relay. 
if when you hit the switch, you're gonna hear a pop or a click sound in the relay. If the relay do not click when you hit the switch on the dash, that means your relay is bad. It's as simple as that. If you don't hear it, click. You hit every time you let your top up and down, you're gonna hear this click. If you're paying attention to it. But if you don't hear the click from the switch, then the relay is bad. Thing run, I think it run like 49, 50 bucks. Get them on eBay, same thing. Okay, then your cables go to your actuators. Actuators are these. This right here got gears in it. And the gears. Hold on a second. Let me get out of here. The gears inside turn the gears on the side, right, which make your arm go up and down. But the actuator is full of gears. Got these three bolts, two or three bolts that hold the actuator on. Just take them off. This screw right here, take the screw out off. If you want to take this off, take the screw out. Sometimes they bind up right here in this section right here. They are bind up. Old gum that grease get in it because it's like a spiral right here. So this is about the smallest part of it. This get gummed up with grease. The top won't work because it just bind up when it's trying to the spiral in here, trying to turn this big main gear right here. So you want to get in it, take it apart, take it off, take this screw out. You'll see all your gears. Take it out, scrape them up. Once you scrape them all out, put some fresh, repack it with some fresh gear, uh, grease, and uh, they they good. They should good. They shouldn't bind. But you know, go inside when you take it apart. Check the check the teeth in it. Make sure the teeth are good. The teeth are good. Just repack it, and it should work no problem. So that's basically what it is and how it works you can uh, if you have a problem with the top going up but it easy to go down it probably motor bad because it's harder for the top to go up than it is to go down because of the resistance if you is spinning you heard the motor running you got a new motor it's not working, the top won't go up. If you want to check the transmission gear, they might be stripped inside. Just 225, this little section right here, 225. Get your new set of nylon gears, because they just made out now, no steel, no aluminum, just nylon. And uh, if it's if ch chains those, still got a problem, check your cables, they might be rounded off. But that's basically how it works. Now, these are your elbows. This is the second bow. Right here, damn, I'm all over the place with it. This is your second bow. These are your um, uh, I forgot the name of these, but you need these for the second bow. That's how the top lock it help guys the top. I think the second bow guide, I think you want to call them. But uh, the parts, the parts are kind of expensive if you, but you know, hey, that's part of doing a car, you want to spend some money. I found out working on this top and rebuilding this top was the most expensive part as far as like engine work and the rest of the stuff concerned this is actually a third bow it goes like this connects with cables and it got a spring loaded if you got a glass top it's spring loaded it bolts to the back when you let top down it lays back right here so that's basically how it all works having a question contact me but i want y'all to check out leon auto parts real good guy over there he got what you need if you're trying to redo a car, a B model car. Well, he got, he basically got any kind of car you want out there in the bushes. But bring some long pants. Um, bring a friend because you might get lonely and lost out there in 100 acres of uh, of woods and trees and bushes. But you can't find a car you want. But like I said, start out with your fuse. Go from your fuse to your switch on your dash. From your, from your dash switch to your relay, reload to, relay to your motor, and then your actuators and your arms. Sometimes your arms get loose in the joints right here. I had to replace this bolt right here. Sometimes get loose right here, slack. You can replace this and put a new pin in it and uh, tighten it back up. Sometimes these joints right here get loose and you can put new bolts in wash it there and tighten them up and get them back straight but uh that's basically how it it works and i hope it helps out 
to somebody who really want to work on the car and really get it straightened out. But like I said, check your cables, check your, check your actuator. Um, sometimes it's better just to get a new motor because when I took this one apart, it was full of rust. It was working halfway, but it was full of rust. The bush, the, the bushing was burnt up and all kinds of things. So it's good to just get you. You're going to keep the car for a while. You're going to be doing something with it. Just get you a new motor. And that way you ain't got to worry about it. One day you catch it in the rain and it won't go back up. Like I said. Uh, but that's basically what it is. Um, leave me a comment. On the last video, ask a few questions. Try to help out as much as I can. But uh, I got a friend who got a video with the, the red Granville on it. I think it is. And I asked him about parts, but I found this place, like I said, Leon Auto Parts in Leon, Virginia. Call him up. Real good guy. You know what I mean? And uh, he got, he got deuce and quarters convertibles. He got, he got, uh, like I said, Granville, Bonneville convertibles. He got uh, uh, Delta 88s, uh, Impalas. All of that rag tops, you know what I mean? Some of them got complete interior, but it's a lot of interior stuff rotten. But check it out. Hope this helped out. Got a problem? Contact me. I got everything just about right on this car. My boy gonna paint it. I was gonna chrome the the uh, the rack and everything like that, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and paint it the same color as the car and try to get my wheels and get everything ready for this homecoming and get me a. a the something that we're going to pass on the side, you know, so I can do a little styling, profiling, you know what I mean? You know how to do it. But uh, got no problem with anything, just hit me up in the comment section.